Oh yeah, it's happening. He come to me with money in his hand. He offered me. I didn't ask him. I wasn't knocking someone's door down. I was running from that. Oh my god. You know this album will be pure insanity. When you realize they open it with a serial killer monologue. I am the beast I worship. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't even finished the first song. I already know this is the craziest death grip album. Oh my god. I'm so shocked already. Oh my god. I'm loving this one already. This is music for bad guys. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. It took me a second to process it, but this is the craziest bit I've heard. Or at least one of the craziest. Oh my god. I can feel the binary code crawling into my skin. No, really, if you could digitally die, this is how your dad would sound like. <laughs> yeah! This sound like it was recorded in prison. I cannot even process it. It's like this doesn't go along at all. Oh my god! Do you imagine if 60s music would sound like this? Fucking hell, mate! Well... <laughs> wow! Oh, wow! It does sound military! This is my brain. My brain. This oh shit. Okay. <laughs> you know, this one was the first death book song that I ever heard. And you know something else? I love it. Atomic penetration, rapid fire through your skull. Oh shit, I'm feeling it. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, I feel like killing it. I wanna fight to this song. Alright, that's not what it's like to experience. What the serious fuck is this? Jesus man, I was very happy with Tachyon. This is just like somebody cutting your bro, just like the title. All of a sudden. Jesus man. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Here it goes, another one, just a transition, just like if that wasn't the craziest motherfucking track in Oh my god. Oh my god, for real? Dead rips at its finest. I'm in that part of the album where I'm so saturated, I just enjoy it completely. <laughs> Isn't this David Bowie? to the end. Uh. <laughs> 
Again, I don't know if they sampled that guitar part, but it's insanely good. You know what? I'm gonna let this one run as a transition, even though it is not, but just because I'm so saturated already. Wow, it even sounds soothing, but I'm pretty sure it's not. And here it is. Jesus, mate. It's the weirdest juxtaposition. This, without the vocals, could be a Radiohead song. But next. Oh, shit. <laughs> I admire this gentleman. Just when you think they cannot go crazier, they go crazier. Of course, a fade out. Yeah, of course. Oh boy, I'm afraid. I know there's nothing left, but I'm still afraid. But you know what? This album fulfilled every single expectation I had for it. That's the exact kind of music I want to hear when I think about Dead Grips, that aggressive mayhem. That's why I like the Money Store so much and that's why I love this record. It does sound like it was made by veterans with PTSD or something, you know, ex-military people. <laughs> Look mate, counting this one, I've only heard three albums by Dead Grips and this isn't even an album, this is a mixtape. But it seems to me that the more you go back in Death Grip's discography, the better it gets. The crazier the mayhems and the sounds and the lyrics and the vocals and everything. I just love how willing this band is to experiment and to put out there some crazy stuff like this. They really deserve the fun base they have. Now, I'm all pumped up right now and I don't want to end up saying something that is not allowed on YouTube. So, I'm gonna... Take a second, maybe third listen of this album, and I'm gonna write my further thoughts in the description in case you want to read them. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment, a like, or nothing. I'm just happy with you sticking around. I'm Tony Whitburn, and I'll see you in the next one.